Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Thursday, December the 26th the day after Christmas. I hope you had a very, very pleasant Christmas day and that the holiday season's going well and wish you Happy New Year too. But you know what today is? Besides being the day after Christmas, we're still in the Christmas season, but this is the first day of Kwanzaa. And uh, it's become somewhat of a tradition on here now where we have Yvonne Matthews on uh, to talk about Kwanzaa, what it is, what it means, and how you celebrate it. Welcome, welcome to Radio Friends, Yvonne, from Lincoln University. Well, actually, Paul, I think after all of this time, and, in, and since it is a holiday, you really owe me a holiday hug. Oh, okay, a okay, a holiday hug. There's a holiday hug okay, to my good. friend. Good, good. Now, this is the first day of Kwanzaa. Yes, it is. What does Kwanzaa mean? Kwanzaa is the celebration of first fruit. And so it is a holiday that celebrates a series of seven. It is celebrated over seven days. You ce celebrate seven principles. There are seven symbols. And so it is a, a gathering time and a reflecting time and a time to celebrate family and remember the places from which we've come and where we're going. It is a time, if you will, that this is a piece of kente cloth, and this first symbol is the symbol of Sankofa. Okay, so if you're, you're listening on the radio, if to hear, to understand what she's talking about, go to kbia.org, click on talk shows and radio friends, and watch this segment. And you've got a, the symbol is what? This symbol is Sankofa, and you see this is the symbol of a bird, and his head is reaching back plucking something from its back. Oh, I see that. And the Sankofa symbol is an Adinkra symbol from West Africa. And it means that we should always go back and fetch. Fetch our history, fetch our culture, so that we know where we're going and we don't repeat where we've been. So we know where we've been and we don't repeat it. Right. Now, it, it, Kwanzaa started in, in South Africa? Kwanzaa actually is an American holiday. You can tell that by, now the word Kwanzaa and the elements of Kwanzaa were established in, or taken from uh, the continent of Africa, from different places in Africa. For example, the language is Kiswahili. And the word Kwanzaa doesn't come from the southern portion of the continent, but um, in other places, and they have a first fruit celebration. But this first is an American holiday. holiday? But it's an American holiday because on the continent of Africa, the word Kwanzaa is K-W-A-N-Z-A, and in America, our celebration is K-W-A-N-Z-A-A. -A. Oh. And the lore beyond, behind the holiday says that when Mal Malana Karanga, who developed this celebration, uh, tested this with some children. They said, well, Dr. Karanga, if you have seven principles, seven days, seven candles, why not have the word have seven letters? So you put in the extra... And in the spirit of self-determination, he added the A, and that's an American celebration. Okay, so it's got three A's. But now here, you have... One, two, three, four, five, six. You were candles. supposed that that candle that's missing was hidden. You weren't supposed to put oh, that out. Okay. So you gotta have seven candles. Seven but we candles. happen to have one missing here. Oh, that's why you put this in front yes, of it. Yes, yes okay. it is. Somewhere between my office in Jeff City and here, I lost a candle. Okay. But you have seven candles. Do you light a candle each day? And you light them in this order. Today is the day we celebrate unity. And that's the first candle. And so you light the first candle. Tomorrow, we would celebrate 
um, the second day of Kwanzaa. So you light this candle, then this candle, and you alternate until you light the last candle, which no. would be a green candle. Now, do you do this in your home? I actually, I used to do it when my daughter lived at home. Mm -hmm. I do Kwanzaa celebrations at church, at work, in the community. And so I have a Kinara, but it's just me. So I don't always just light the candles. A but canora. I do it. This is called a Kinara? The candle holder. It's I have the candle holder, the candles. And I um, sometimes I will light candles if I have people over. Uh -huh. But I, I do it at church. And so I save up my energy for doing it, a celebration at church, which will be this Sunday. Okay. And so we will at our 1030 celebration, we will church? have at St. Paul AME Church okay. on the corner of 5th and Park at 1030. We will have a Kwanzaa celebration. And anybody can come. And anybody the can come. The doors are wide open to anyone. Doors are wide now, open. Now, what is the symbol of, what is the symbol? This is a, These are a, just, these are things that I use to decorate the table. The gourd. This is a gourd and it was grown at Lincoln University on our farm. And so I just, it's one of my, I have a collection of gourds. Uh -huh. So I use them to celebrate my table. Now, just to the left here, we have a statue. Uh -huh. Tell me about it. And the statue, may I go back? The st As I said, there are seven symbols, and some of the symbols are a unity cup. You're supposed to have fruits and vegetables, so mm -hmm. they, sell, they symbolize the crops. These, the statue you see has um, vegetables in that basket, bananas and watermelons, some of the fruit brought over to America from the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was a nice piece that pulled together their collective work and responsibility, their cooperative economics because they're sharing their beauty. Kumba is creativity and beauty. And then the last, the last principle of uh, Kwanzaa is faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind, Anybody can celebrate Kwanzaa. It really is about making the best of your life, what you've had, and what you have to look forward to. And the principles, very quickly, are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative e economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. Okay. Is it appropriate to say Happy Kwanzaa? It's very appropriate. All right. Happy Kwanzaa to you, <laughs> Yvonne. The day after Christmas, we'll say happy Kwanzaa, uh, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to you. Well, Happy New Year to you, okay. too, Thank you Paul. so much for coming out it here It is today. my pleasure. Thank you for having me. It, it's always my pleasure, too. All right? Let's see. Tomorrow, uh, Second Chance will be on and Central Missouri Dietetic Association. And if you want to find out more about Kwanzaa, you can go Google it. Right? Yes, you can. And you'll find out all the information that we couldn't get in today. I want to remind you our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Sifan Oyoung. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if there's something that you would like to hear or see on the air, drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu.